How was your guys Thanksgiving break? Good. Good. Eat, a lot, eat a lot of food? Yeah. No. 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 Good no. no. too. No. All right. Can I get the uh, microphone? Mm. All right, today we're going to be learning about line plots. Does anybody know what a line plot is? Yeah, Matt. It's, um, it's um, a graph, a type of a graph. Yes, it is a type of a graph. Does anybody know what kind of graph? Yeah. Do you know? Um, well, yeah, but I can't really, it's kind of hard without spelling. Yeah. Well, like, so the, like, the, um, the categories would be right here, and then there would be a line, 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 and then one, two, three, four, five, and there would be, like, boxes, colored in boxes. Yeah, so the purpose of a line graph, what you use is to, like, collect and analyze data, right? So, I'll show you an example. Sorry, I have an example written down right here. So we'll do go students. No, nope, actually, sorry. Alright, so an example of a line plot is we'll do, we'll, then we'll number it off. So one, two, sorry, I kind of wrote three, four, five, six. Okay? So a good example, so for example, four people like baseball. So you find baseball, the number of students that like it, and then you just make a little X. And you guys got to remember that one X equals one person, right? So four, four people like baseball. And then basketball, we'll do six. <laughs> kind of ironic, right? I play basketball. <laughs> Soccer, five people like it. Then volleyball, five people also like volleyball. Do any of you guys know why we would use a graph like this? Yeah, why not? Well, like, to show how many people like, 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 people like basketball. Like, how much more do, do people like that than that? Yeah, it's kind of like to, so like, first I guess the question should be asked, does anybody know what data is? You know, Lincoln? No? Not. So it's like a fact or a statistic collected together to a, for analysis. So in this case, six people like basketball, that's a statistic or a fact. Four like baseball, five like soccer, and five like volleyball. And the, the purpose of a line graph is to like put it all together to find out if there's a favorite sport or what most people in this case, if there's a favorite sport, or just to analyze anything, yeah. Um, the um, line graph. Um, there's actually more of like one way to like do a graph. There you go. Like, On the video I have, there's a different way to like make a line graph. There, there's a lot of different ways you can do it. So do you, do any of you guys? So I kind of just gave it away, but when do you guys use a line graph? Does anybody else know other than these two? Natalie? To show how much more you have, to see how much more um, it is than another one. Yeah, you're exactly right. So 
I kind of I found a video that I'll give you guys like a better understanding of line plots, line graphs. It's it's just an intro video. So, like Sadie said earlier, there are many different ways you can do it. I chose to do it that way, but in the video they do it a little bit differently. Let's say we're having a birthday party, and these are the kids at the birthday. What just happened? Let's say we're having a birthday party, and these are the kids at the birthday party. And all of the kids, they have a bunch of different ages. And what we are curious about is how many kids of each age do we have? Well, to help think about that, we can draw what is called a line plot. And I've always viewed the term line plot a bit confusing because in my brain you use a lot more dots than you use lines. But let's look at what a line plot is. So what I will do is I will draw, I guess this, this involves a line right over here. I'll draw a line down here and then I'll create buckets for each of the ages. So let's see, I have students here from age three all the way to age seven. So I could say age three, age four, age five, age six, and age seven. I don't have to go to two or I don't have to go to eight. There aren't any kids in those, in those ages, although I could if I want. And then I look at, well, how many kids do I have of each age? Well, I have one, one, one person attending the party, Dia, she's age three. So I would put, I might put an X here or I could put a dot here different line plots would put different things here. But that shows me that I have this, 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 this partier is age three right over here. Now I have Imran, age five. So that's someone, that's someone right over here who would be age five. You could think of this dot. This represents Imran, who's age five. Then you have Surya, who's also age five. So he's also age five. So that means we have a second we have a second person at the party who is age five. So under age five, we now have two people. This is Imran and this is Surya. Then you have Jasper who is six. So that's one person who is age six. Then you also have Vikram who is age six. Oops, let me do that in that same color. We also have Vikram who is age six. So let's put him in the age six bucket. Then we have Luke who is seven. Luke who is seven. So that would be a dot right over there. And then finally I have Anya who's also age six. Who is also age six. So just like that, I was able to take all of the data that I have in this table and I were, I'm able to put it on this line plot. And the reason why this line plot is useful is it helps us look at, well, how many of each age do we have? It might be a little bit more confusing to just look at the table here. Because when you look at the line plot, it's very clear. Hey, look, there's no one here who is age four. And look, we have the most people who are age six. And if we asked ourselves a question, well, how many, if, if you didn't even have this, actually, let me just even take it away. If we didn't even have that there, if we didn't have the table, we just had the line plot. And if someone said, hey, look, you know, these are ages right over here. This is our ages and years old. And each dot represents a student who's at the party. So based on this line plot, how many people are more than five years old? Well, you could look at this and you could say, okay, more than five years old, that would be six years old or seven years old. It's not showing anyone who's eight, nine, 10, 11, and on and on and on and on. So let's look at all the dots. Let's all look at all the dots here that are more than five years old. There are three six-year-olds and there's one seven-year-old. So there are one, two, three, four people who are older than five years old. You could do go the other way around. You could say, how many people are less than five years old? Well, then you could say, okay, less than five years old would be either three years old or four years old. And when you look at those dots, you see there's only one dot. Only one person attending the party is less than five years old. Hopefully you found that, hopefully you found that interesting. All right. Back to the uh, little graph I have over here. What do you guys notice about the graph? 
Yeah, we can. Is that instead of like how they did, they just did like how many like that they made a tower of them, but that is just like it was like they put it where who put it where on like the floor is or the surfaces. Yeah, exactly. Anybody else? Sure. So what do you guys notice specifically about just this data right here? What do you guys notice? I'm going to call on someone. These two, these two have been raising their hands the entire time. Yeah, Mac. Um, that most of them are different, like, except for only two of them aren't. Yeah, what else does it tell you? What's the favorite sport here? Yeah. Basketball. Basketball is, yeah. Do you guys notice anything regarding like the title? I kind of messed this up right here. Sorry about that. Titles. Bradley. Do you want someone to help you out? Math. That they're all sports. Yeah. Always remember with a line plot, you should have a title at the bottom like this. Also, in like the video, the ages were at the bottom. He labeled that. And in this case, it's sports or number of students over here. So, and like I said earlier, like in that case, on the video, one dot represented one person, one person right? With, with the exception to since they had different ages listed along the bottom. So one dot under like age five means one five-year-old, right? But in this case, I did it a little bit differently. This equals four, six, five, five. All right, now can I have you guys go back to your desk and I have a little worksheet I'll pass out. Pencils down, pencils down. We're gonna do a few together, all right? Everyone look up here. I'm gonna read the directions. Susan makes bracelets from glass beads and sells them online. She charges between five and twelve dollars for each bracelet, depending on its size and style. The line plot below shows how much she received at each bracelet sold this week. All right. So the first question is, how many $5 bracelets did Susan sell this week? So you go to like the $5 section on the plot, on the line plot. And remember, each X represents one. So once you guys have that figured out, can someone tell me what it is? Eight. Eight bracelets, that is correct. Two, how much money did Susan earn on $5 bracelets alone? So you count the total, total number of bracelets. 
and multiply it by five because each of them are five dollars. Riley? Forty dollars, that is correct. Alright, now could I have you guys just finish the worksheet and when you guys are done you guys can read your choice book. Just keep your sheets at your desk and Mr. Shaw will correct them with you guys after we're done. So if you finished, remember you can grab your choice book. There are some on there that are pretty tricky. I love seeing the strategies that you're coming up with. Notice that many of them deal with money. You need to try some. Try some.
three more minutes. Is everybody done yet or no? You guys all, you guys all done? All right, can I have you guys return? Oh, you're all done. All right, can you guys go back to your desk for me? We'll go over the worksheet. Those of you that are a little further away and your backs are to Mr. Shaw, move closer and sit on the floor at the front so that you can see what we're doing. So Ava, come closer. Natalie and Kayla, come closer. Gio, come closer. Addison, come closer. Good job. Make sure your um, bookmark is in your book. Good job. Ayana, come on closer to the front. Can you guys go grab your worksheets for me? There you go. Make sure you have a pencil with you too so that you can make those corrections as we go through that. There were some tricky ones on there. Good job. Anthony, can you come on up closer and just have a seat? There you go. What are some of those strategies? How do you figure it out? Riley, how did you figure that out? Um, I went up. Can you go show? I went up here and kind of just counted it, and then I put the number down. Yep, that's exactly what you need to do. So, like I mentioned, $11 bracelets, you see that, so you would immediately know to go right here. And then ask how many. So, remember, each X means one individual bracelet. So, one, two, three. All right, so how much money did Susan earn on $11 bracelets? Ooh, Hello. this one is tricky. Yes, Sadie. Um, so, I learned to, um... If you didn't multiply, how else could you figure that out? Yeah, Lincoln. Add three, add three together. Yep, that's kind of what I did with mm -hmm. Riley when I was working with her over there as well. And when I noticed your strategies, that's exactly what I was seeing. Remember, repeated addition will work every time. I love to see that some of your sheets have numbers written all over the place. You're not trying to solve it necessarily in your head but you're using those strategies even when you don't have to. So how much, oh, whoops. So how many more $10 bracelets did she sell than $9 bracelets? Yeah, Riley. Five? Five is right. So she sold seven $10 bracelets and two nine dollar bracelets how many bracelets did susan sell in all yeah 21 mm -hmm. you're right 
So to find that, you would just take the total right here, which is eight plus two plus seven plus three plus one. So you would just count like I've been repeatedly saying each one, each X is one bracelet. So you would just add all of those together. Now this is one where I saw a lot of you struggle. So so I'm gonna do it on the board over here. I love these strategies. It's cool. I thought it was dollars. Wait, how much money did? So how many bracelets were sold that were five dollars? Just shut it up. What about eleven dollars? Thirty-three. And what about twelve? All right. The place where I saw most of you struggle is you didn't know what to do to find the total of each individual box. So for example, eight and then five. Does that, like, what do you guys need to, what do, what, what needs to be done? Yeah. You take eight times five and you find the answer. Right, so eight times five, what's eight times five? 40. 40. 40. All right, so now you guys know that you guys multiply or add whatever, if you guys cannot do it in your head. So what's nine times two? 18. 18. What about 10 times seven? 70. 70. What about 11 times 3? 32. And then 12 times 1? 12. 12. Now, what do you need to do to find the absolute total of how much money she made? Lemon. First, you can add like 70 to 33, so it'll make 103. Yeah, 103. And then you could add. 12 plus 18, which would make 30. 30, yeah. And then there's like a 40 alone, so you could use that to add to the 30, and it'll come up with 172. So 70 plus 103 equals 173. That's exactly correct. So this is kind of what I learned when I was your guys' age. I kind of struggled with the same multiplication thing, like I didn't know what to multiply together. But once you guys figure that out, for each total like category, for lack of a better word, so $40 and $5 bracelets, $18 and $9 bracelets, $70 and uh, $10 bracelets, $33 and $11 bracelets, and $12 and $12, bra $12 bracelets. All you need to do is add up the total amount of money that she made for each bracelet. And then that will give you the total amount of money she made in all. Does anybody have any questions on this worksheet? Any, yes, Eddie. Will you grade us on this? You want me to grade you? Yes. No. Yes. no. Why? You guys don't think you did very good? I like, I like, I like, I like, I'll stay a few minutes after and I can grade you. No. It's not going to go in your guys' grade book. I'll just go over it, right? If you don't want to know, I won't tell you. If you do want to know, I'll tell you. Right? Yeah, I'll hand them back for those who want them. Alright, you guys can return to your desk. Thank you.